Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG and Games, and I'm going to be continuing my Blender Modifiers tutorial series. Now, in the last tutorial, we did the Boolean modifier, which allows us to cut holes in objects by the vertices of other objects. Now, this tutorial, I'm going to try to cover two of them, the, the build and the decimate. That's right. So I'm going to expand this menu so we can read the, um, the parameters. And then for this one, I'm going to go, I'm going to add... A build now that disappears but don't worry it's just because where it is if you actually bump this frame up this is so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you these different parameters sorry um, the start is the frame that it starts at this is an animating model one this is what you use if so like if you're trying to like a Lego almost if you had a bunch of solidified stuff. So you can see that if it starts at frame 1 and the length is 100 and I hit Alt A, it starts to build it very slowly, but it's a very boring build because there's no vertices. I'm going to rewind by clicking this um, farthest left button on this playhead and then I'm going to hit Tab. I'm going to subdivide this twice. Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to also add a triangulate modifier which we'll get into later. Now, if I have this down here, you'll see that nothing changes, except that it goes quicker, and it looks a lot better. But that's not what we want. We want this to go on top, so that it triangulates the mesh, and that looks a ton better. But that is too uniform, if you ask me. Nothing builds itself like that. Everything is random. So, that's what we get into next. We're gonna get into the randomize. So I'm going to change this to C2, uh, yeah, 2. And now if I hit Alt-A, it builds in a much more random way. It's a cool little thing you can do. Now I'm going to rewind. Now let's say you didn't want that to happen. Let's say you wanted it to, like, dissolve. Alt-A, and then once you click on this reverse, it destroys the mesh. So that's a cool little thing. I'm going to now... I'm going to reload the startup file, and I'm going to get on with the destroy modifier. Or decimate, not the destroy. So, now with the decimate modifier, this cube is not a good example for this. So I'm going to delete the cube, and I'm going to hit Shift A, and I'm going to add a UV sphere. Now, if I go, and if I zoom in, and I go to add modifier, decimate, not much happens. But, if I hit... Now, it's got this ratio. Now, this is how many faces it's going to collapse. So, if I click on this, and I start going down, you'll see that the vertices start to change with this slider. I can take it all the way down to about right here. And you can see, and I can also triangulate it if I wanted to, but I don't like triangulation. So, that was just, for example, well, you can see, you can make cool things with it. Um, so, that's the collapse mode. Then there's the un, whoops. Then there's unsubdivide, which basically unsubdivides the iterations. I usually use two or three when, subdiv when doing something like this. Um, you can go up to four, but with the sphere, three or two is good. So that's the unsubdivide. It basically just gets rid of vertices. Then planar. Um, sets an angle limit. So you can see that as I raise this, the angles start to change and it starts unsubdividing it. As you go all boundaries, it just uses all the boundaries and goes inside of it. Um, so then we can delimit it by material or seam or whatever. But that is basically the decimate modifier. It just gets rid of vertices. Um, it doesn't do it by animation on its own, but you can animate it if you click on this and then right click. So like, let's say we went to unsub um, planar. We change this angle limit to zero. Then we can hit um, right click, insert keyframe, and then go forward 100 frames. And then change this to 180. And then you can see, this is a bit cooler effect. I forgot to add a keyframe. You have to notice that when you add a keyframe. If you change this to 180 and then you do this, then you also have to insert a keyframe there. So now if I go back to the beginning, 
It's a much more dynamic way of getting rid of something. And that's cool. I mean, you can also reverse it and stuff, and it looks cool. So yeah, guys, that was the Build and Decimate modifier. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please take your time to go watch the previous tutorials in the series, if you please. Also, don't forget to check out our website and follow us on Twitter. Um, both of those links are in the description. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. We really enjoy it when you guys subscribe. It gives us a lot of um, perseverance to keep doing this, even though we're technically not making money. And This is a really fun thing. And I know you guys enjoy these videos. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.